This is Cece and I doing the kissing hand painting activity. Um, if you can look at the table and see how I have all of the materials except for the paper right in front of me. I haven't put the paint or the sponge or the glue in front of her and that's very purposeful. Okay. So we're gonna see Cece, what we do here. Do you remember the story we read about Chester and the kissing hand? Yeah, we're gonna make a kissing hand for you so you can look at it all the time. All right, so we're gonna use some paint and the sponge and some glue, and we have this little heart. It's really impossible for young children to resist picking up things like paint and glue. So by having them in front of me, I am giving her the opportunity to have the self-control to not grab at those things. And at the same time, I'm protecting the materials so that she doesn't do anything with them that she shouldn't do. That's going to be the kiss, okay? And we're going to put some paint on your hand. Which hand do you want to put paint on? I this asked hand? Cece okay. which hand she wants to put paint on so to give her a choice so she feels like she's in control. Just like Chester did for his mom. And then I'm going to put the some paint on the sponge, and then I'm going to put the paint all over your hand, and it's going to feel cold. I'm letting her know what's going to happen beforehand. She knows what to expect. It helps things go smooth. You can also see I'm holding her wrist to help keep her in control or help keep me in control of what's happening. Chester has paws. Okay. So I want you to open your fingers up really big like this. Good job. And then we're going to put, oh, can you open your fingers? Good. And then we're going to put your hand on there and hold it. One, two, three. And then we're going to lift your hand up. Look at that. Look at your handprint. Is that pretty cool? Let's do another one. You want to do another one? We can do another one. I did not well, anticipate that she'd want to do another one, and which is kind of silly. I should have known she would do that. While I walk away to get her paper, I gave her a very specific task. Keep your hand in the air. And then I kept reminding her of that while I was away from her. Good job holding your hand way up in the air. Here's another paper. You can make another one. You go ahead, keep making more. And I'm going to go get a paper towel to wipe the paint off your hand. I remembered at this point that I was going to need something to wipe her hand off and get the paint off. So I had to run again and get something. She's pretty happy with what she's doing. So... I'm still listening to her while I'm out of the room. That helps keep her from, I'm, I'm actually pretty shocked that she didn't paint her face or her shirt. We got lucky with that. Now we're gonna take the paint off your hands so that we can do the glue part, okay? We'll get as much off as we can with the paper towel and then we'll probably need to wash your hands when we're all done, okay? Over here. All right, now we're going to put the heart right in the middle, and that's going to be the kiss. See our little kissy heart? <laughs> okay, so we're going to put some glue on it. Open our glue. I'm going to go ahead and guide Cece's hand there. with the glue. You could give your up. four and five year olds a little bit more independence with putting the glue on. Yes, it's really it not going to hurt if they get too much. Here we go. Just you do want to guide them and continue to tell them just a little bit, just a small squeeze, be gentle, that kind of thing. On the hand. Nice work. Look at that. It's a kissing hand. And then there's a little poem. Do you want to hear the poem? It says, here's a special trick I know. When I'm sad and scared to go, take my hand and kiss it here. The kiss from you I will hold dear. On my cheek, I place it so your love is with me when I go. It's so cute, huh? Do you want to show it? Let's show it. There's Cece's kissing hand. Thanks for watching. Bye!